the imprint of his personality on the studio and on what comes out of anything Disney is the attention to detail. And it's just perfection. Walter Elias Disney was born in Chicago, Illinois on December 5th, 1901. He developed a love of drawing and by 18, he became a draftsman at a Kansas City art studio. His very first job in the art world was at a small company where he met Ub Iwerks, who turned out to be a fantastic animator later in his life. But the two became friends, and shortly after they decided to form a company together. Working with Iwerks and his brother Roy, Disney opened a Hollywood studio in 1923. Five years later, the studio made Steamboat Willie, starring an animated mouse who would become the cornerstone of their company. Mickey Mouse had a real personality, and that personality was kept consistent from film to film to film. The other reason Mickey was a huge success was that Walt decided to use Mickey as a means for introducing sound to cartoons. In 1934, Disney began work on Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, which became the highest grossing film of the year and named AFI's greatest American animated film of all time. Snow White had, besides being a beautiful piece of art with some wonderful original music and a very sweet love story, was just so well done, so well plotted. And it was just a, a work of art, it was a treasure. In the 1940s, Disney opened a new studio in Burbank and released a succession of animated classics, including Pinocchio, Fantasia, Dumbo, and Bambi. By 1950, Disney released its first live action film and TV special. Every film he did added something new. Pinocchio had a great story, tremendous artistic detail. Fantasia gave him the opportunity to experiment with color and with sound. Bambi brought whole new skills to his artists because the animals for Bambi were much more realistic. Everything added to the skills of the Disney studio. Disney's dream of a children's amusement park came to life on July 17, 1955, with the televised opening of Disneyland, the most well-known theme park in the world. The whole park fascination started back when he was in Kansas City. A certain uh, amusement park there, he and his little sister would stand outside with not the money to go in. And later, Rudolph Ising, one of his original animators from Kansas City, is quoted as saying, uh, Walt and I went to the, the park one day and Walt said, I'm gonna have a park like this someday, but mine's gonna be clean. During the 50s and 60s, Disney dominated television with several weekly shows while still producing feature films. In 1965, his musical Mary Poppins scored 13 nominations and five Academy Awards. Many of film critics have called Mary Poppins Walt's masterpiece. He brought together all he had learned for a great many years in the film industry in one beautiful film including, much to the surprise of many people who had started working on a live action film, animation. On December 16, 1966, Walt Disney died of acute circulatory collapse brought on by lung cancer. Today, the multi-billion dollar Disney empire includes multiple TV networks, motion picture studios, vacation resorts, theme parks, and record labels. The Walt Disney passed on it's remarkable to see how many children and adults continue to enjoy and love his works. <laughs>